Hello, Cancer. Welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Cancer, today is November 20th, 2023, and we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind. Let's talk about this person, shall we, Cancer? Let's find out, first of all, what you want from this connection. We'll see what they want from this connection. Let's find out how they're feeling about you and what you can expect in the near future. So, let's talk. We have neglected. I failed to give you what you need. In absence, I feel like part of me is missing without you. Hmm. Sounds like somebody has some regrets here. Kansa. Well, let's talk about it. Let's just put those like that. Nope. We're just going to do this. All right. Let's get down to business. See what's going on. What do you want? Whoa. Oh, use the pentacles in reverse. Okay. What do they want? Is they the cups? Some kadoka smoking. You can answer. For those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. Just be reminded, Cancer, my readings are $30 Canadian, and they send them in two to four business days. Let's talk about it. We have the world as the overall energy here. This could represent an ending. This could represent a new beginning. Let's talk about it. Because the Ace of Pentacles in reverse is what you want. That's a no-go. Let's see what that means. What does this mean here from Cancer? What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? I want a fresh start. Whoa, but you're not so happy here. Whoa, what happened? There's a magician. So... Well, the Seven of Swords represents a little bit of sneaky energy. So, you know, they failed to give you what you need. Obviously, you set some healthy boundaries here. And um, there's obviously some kind of separation or distance between you and this person. Queen of Swords tells me that you're not the happiest. But the Ace of Wands tells me you do want a fresh start. You do want a new beginning. Whether it's with or without this person, we're going to find out as we progress. But this is who you're thinking about. And the Magician does represent communication, fresh starts, new beginnings. We have two cards of fresh starts and new beginnings. There's a Six of Pentacles. And there's the Knight of Swords. So uh, I feel you want to give to this, um, but I feel like there things need to change if this is going to progress forward into something healthy, something that you feel has potential here. There's some sneaky energy and you want to get to the truth, the whole truth. Like the Queen of Swords is very much about honesty. So I feel like you want the truth here. You want, you want some answers. You want some clarity. You'd like to know what's going on. I feel like you want answers. So let's see what they want and we'll see how this progresses forward here. So the Eight of Cups is um, what they want. What do they want to walk away from? What do they want to walk? Hang on. Oh, shoot. I forgot the signs. Aries, Leo, Sag, energy on the table. We had air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the nine of wands, the eight of swords, and the king of wands in the middle. There's the three of swords. They want to walk away from thinking, analyzing, worrying, overthinking. Um, there's the four of wands. Wow. And there's the five of swords. Yeah. See, <clears throat> Cancer feel they have some regrets here with this Eight of Swords, this Three of Swords. The Three of Swords in this deck is very much a self-sabotage. Now, if we looked at the Seven of Swords, um, it had the shadow and they had the shadow. But both of these people are looking away from the shadow. So I feel this person might have been a person that tends to run from their feelings or run from taking responsibility or not really um, admit when they were wrong. And they want to walk away from that energy because they're, they're feeling wounded, feeling hurt, they're overthinking. They clearly have some sparks and passion or they simply could be this King of Wands, but... They want to stop the self-sabotage behavior here, Cancer. Um, basically, they know they fucked up and they want to walk away from that. They want to, they, well, let's see what they do about it. Um, what they want is you. However, they don't know, maybe they don't know how to make it happen. We'll see. They're thinking a lot about this. Let's say that with that eight of swords and that three of swords energy. The strength is what they want. They want naughty time here. What else do they want? What do they want? What are their feelings here towards Kansa in the present a moment? Yeah. Oh, whoa. The fool. The, whoa, Cancer. You don't know what you got till it's gone. You know the saying, baby. You know the saying. And they're spying on you. They're keeping an eye on you. You're what makes them happy. They feel a very strong, strong, you know, the four of wands is twin flames, soulmate, um, happy home, happy life. They want you. Um, they feel that like you're the one for them here with this four of wands and the ten of cups. I mean, that's some pretty strong feelings here. Uh, with that fool, they want a fresh start, want a new beginning. Not only is there physical attraction, because in a love reading, you know, the, the, the strength is about lust, it's about passion, it's about chemistry. But there's also this emotional aspect to it as well. They have very deep feelings for you. They see you as someone that has a soul contract, a lot of potential to make them happy. They want a fresh start, new beginning. They're spying on you. They never stop spying on you. But I also feel like here, you know, the separation or this, this conflict, whatever's happened here, has made them realize and learn a few things here, Cancer, with that page of swords. So the person's feeling some kind of way. They feel a very deep connection with you. Um... And then the Seven of Cups in reverse is their actions. This is afraid to make the wrong choice here. This is the Seven of Cups in reverse. There's that Seven of Swords again. <clears throat> Whoa. Six of Pentacles in reverse. 
There's the fool. We're trying to be strategic here. Okay, there's the queen. Whoa, so we have the king and the queen of wands. They definitely know you're the one for them. That's an element of compatibility, right? When two of the tarot cards of the court cards from the same suit come out, it represents a couple who's compatible. Now, the king and the queen of wands are the sexiest motherfuckers in the deck. So there's clearly a physical attraction strong. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, my sage is, is on fire. My bowl and the smoke's getting in my face. And I'm very sensitive to smoke. I didn't put my air purifier on, so I will put that on after this reading. Um, but anywho, so, but what I see is I'm trying to be very strategic. They don't want to come the wrong way. This is trying to make up for what they've done, right? They don't want to come in the wrong way. They're afraid of saying the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing, that they're going to scare you off or push you away here. What they want is a fresh start. What I, there's the Ace of Pentacles. There's the Eight of Cups. Whoa. Yeah. And the Eight of Cups to the Five of Pentacles. And there's the Ten of Swords. They're afraid they're going to say or do the wrong thing. Um, I don't see them doing anything. I see them stuck because they're afraid. They want a fresh start. They're trying to be very strategic. It's like this energy of, um, you know, standing in the shower and, and playing the conversation over and over or standing in the mirror or writing it down. You know, they, um, they want a fresh start. They want a new beginning. But right now I see them afraid to say or do the wrong thing. And I think it's preventing them from actually doing something. So let's grab some oracles. We'll see if anything progresses here in the next month. Let's talk and see what's going down. Spirit guides. Oh, that smoke is driving me insane. Okay. Spirit guides. What does Kansai need to surrender to? Defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. So communicate in a more empowered way. Stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. Okay. Might be for the conversation that might be coming up. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What is the caring connection for Kansa and this person on their mind? Honor. Honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship becoming stronger. Okay. The hidden truth. They could say something that they're not saying. They want to say they should. Maybe they shouldn't. Well, let's see what it is, baby. Let's see what it is. The hidden truth. All right, what do we got? We will be together again. Oh, we see that. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Can't stop thinking about you. Oh, we know that too. So, Cancer, let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, <laughs> there's always free will, baby. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And so when I say outcome, where are you in a month? How are things progressing? How are things doing? Do they take action? Do you take action? Does anything happen? Let's find out. Spirit guides, where's Cancer? Oh, we have the Two of Swords. Okay, well, interesting. The Two of Swords is sideways. So is the High Priestess. Okay, we'll leave them that way and see what's going on. We got the Knight of Swords. We got the Ace of Swords. We have a lot of swords here. Swords are all about communication, but they're also about thought. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Two of Cups in reverse. Whoa. And the Four of Wands in reverse. Well... In a month, I definitely don't see paradise here. What's under that wheel of fortune? Two of wands. You have a decision to make. You have, um, I do feel they're rushing in here to speak the truth. There's a knight of swords. There's the ace of swords. So the truth coming, there's some clarity coming, but there's also disharmony here. So I'm not entirely sure how this conversation goes. Everything in divine timing. And there's the devil. I think you think that and there's the king of swords. They're coming off emotionally aloof here. Cancer, I don't think you like how this conversation goes. It's like they... They thought about this. They pondered this. They wanted to come off a certain way. It's like they don't want you to know how they feel. Um, with that King of Swords, maybe they're emotionally unavailable. Maybe they don't deal with their emotions. You're wondering if you should just let this go here because they're sideways. So you haven't made your decision yet. Um, you're trying to allow your intuition to guide you, but I feel a slight block in the intuition. But I also feel like you're not certain if you want this or not. So in a month, you know, yeah, in the next two weeks to four weeks, you're going to hear from this person. They're going to come rushing in to speak their truth, everything in divine timing. But I also feel like you think it's a little unhealthy. It's a little toxic. I don't think you like the way that they come forward here. Not with this. <laughs> two of cups in reverse and the four of wands in reverse. There's definitely disharmony here. So you have an intense conversation coming here. You're going to be talking about what happened. Um, I want one more card. Yeah, the Knight of pentacles. You stay single. They just clarified that. You definitely don't jump back into a connection, but you do talk to this person um, and you have a decision to make, but I feel like you're not really certain how to make that. I just want to see if they want to add anything. I feel like I'm missing something. Kansa. So, spirit guides, what am I missing? Which is... <laughs> you're... I'm not missing anything. You're deciding if you want to just let this person go and not even talk to them. Um, you're at a crossroads here. 
So it's like, look at the two of swords and the high priestess came up sideways and then they gave me the two of swords and the high hermit upside <laughs> upright, um, which is basically the same energy as the two of swords and the high priestess. So you're on the fence. You have a choice to make, Cancer. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place. I don't feel you like how they came forward here. I think they rushed. I came, think they came emotionally aloof. They do not want you to know how they feel, which is kind of bizarre. And that might lose you. Yeah, the three of wands. You might turn your back on this and wait for something else. But either way, you have a decision to make. At least you're going to have the conversation. You're going to hear what they have to say. And you have a choice to make here, Kansa. So that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So Cancer, if you like my reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate your support, Cancer. I truly, truly do. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Spirit guides, yes or no? What's the answer for Cancer? Yes. Cancer, that's what's up. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.